Hello everyone, this is Sridhar here and I welcome you all to my channel. In this video session, we are going to see what are the various tools with which we can make attractive and interactive video lectures or video sessions for your students, which will ultimately make the contents more engaging and the results you will get will be astonishing. So just have a look. Uh, we are going to start with four tools. The very first tool which we are going to see is very common or very popular tool known as Edpuzzle. Edpuzzle is basically a tool using which you can create video lectures and video quizzes. Video quizzes are basically very useful because once the video is completed, you can ask questions to the students or even in between the video, at some point of time, you can put up questions so that the students will be in a position to answer the questions based on the video lecture. Using this, you can uh, make sure that the students are paying attention to the content which you are providing to them and you will also get an immediate feedback from the students. So the very first website is edpuzzle.com. I will leave the URLs in the description box below. Edpuzzle.com provides a very basic account. The very free account uh, will provide you 20 videos. Uh, you you will be able to upload at the max 20 videos with the help of the free account and if you want more than that you have to obviously go for the next pack that is obviously paid so i'm logging in i am a teacher you can use the edpuzzle credentials or simply you can log in with your google account so log in with edpuzzle it's really very simple the interface is very clean very crisp what exactly you can do is on the left hand side you can see there are many popular channels for example edpuzzle itself creates videos you can add youtube videos if you're having a youtube channel for example in my case i'm having my youtube channel so i can post my youtube videos over here and make them or convert them into video quizzes similarly you can upload video from khan academy national geographic ted talks veritasium uh, no number file crash course okay so let's have a look uh, this is one of the videos I had uh, put as a video quiz. For example, if you want to add any YouTube video as a quiz, what you can do is just click on this particular YouTube bar and take any video. For example, take this video dynamics. Let it load. This is how the interface looks like. You can upload this video. You can assign this video to your students. You can either do it with the help of Google Classroom linked with your account or you can add students or add a new class and then assign those students to the class. In my case, I had the Google Classroom added to it, added to my account. So I was in a position to simply link my Google Classroom with this Edpuzzle account. In your case, if you are uh, creating this quiz for public domain, what you can do is you can create a public link over here copy this link and then you can provide this link to whoever you want to send this particular quiz to clear so this is how we create an ad puzzle video let me show you uh, one of the uh, already created ad puzzles which i have already prepared let's see how it looks you can see here few dots are present what are these dots these are nothing but questions for example on the right hand side you can see that at some point of time at some intervals i have asked few questions from the students so let's have a look uh, the video will keep on playing and once it reaches this particular interval yeah. once it reaches this particular interval it will ask some questions from the students for example Click over, see over here on the right hand side, a question has been asked from the students, which of these text boxes has a size limitation. So the student will be able to answer this question only if he has gone through the video content properly. Otherwise, he won't be able to move ahead or move further. So this is the main advantage of Edpuzzle. You can keep the students involved in whatever you are showing them in that video so that the students will also be in a uh, dilemma that if i am not able to answer the question i won't be able to move further i won't be able to move ahead so this is why edpuzzle comes handy if you want to involve your students in your lecture okay similarly the next tool which we are going to show is ted ed a very popular tool ted ed videos are very popular what you can do is you can simply create your account you can sign in ted ed videos are very uh, useful if 
in case of uh, motivational lectures or or so but if you are even a technical kind of a teacher or te you are teaching a technical subject then also you can make use of the ed, uh, ted ed with the help of ted ed you can uh, simply share the videos with your students and the students will be able to watch those videos at the comfort of their home so it is very simple you need to create an account with that account you can then create a lesson and you can create quizzes also it's very similar you can you have to add the youtube uh, url over here then press enter and in the next section you can add some quizzes to the particular tedded video let me show you how to add a youtube video over here for example i have i have this particular video of mine just copy the url and paste it over here what happens next is it will create an interface you have to select this particular video then simply continue after it loads up you can again ask questions using this let's begin section you can introduce what this particular video lecture is all about then you can ask some questions based on the video it is quite similar to the ed puzzle the only thing is you can't ask questions in between you can ask questions at the end multiple choice questions open answer questions whatever type of questions you want you can uh, create a discussion forum where the students can interact with each other or with this uh, with the uh, teacher they can ask questions they can solve others queries etc so this is also a very interactive platform for the teachers and the students as well so uh, we have done two uh, tools so far ed puzzle and ted ed now next move on to the most interesting uh, tool which is hot potatoes let's see what exactly hot potatoes is hot potatoes is nothing but a very uh, funny name but it has its own significance for example i have already installed hot potatoes i will give the link from where you can download hot potatoes it's one of the most interactive tool over here you can see there are five types of interactive quizzes or questions which you can post either on on uh, any lms for example google classroom moodle etc for example you can start with a quiz you can have a crossword you can have a jumbled kind of a question you can have a fill in the blanks kind of a question which are close is close and you can also have match the following type of questions or if you want a combination of all of these you can simply select this masher which will combine all the five type of uh, problems into one interactive quiz or into one interactive question paper so let's see how it is created i will show you one of the quizzes that is a crossword and you can explore keep on exploring the various other options the tool hot potatoes provides you so let's start with this j cross j cross is nothing but a crossword so what exactly you can do is for example uh, if you are if you are a geography teacher for example and you want to ask the students the various capitals of various countries or various states so what you can do is you can auto uh, create a grid the very first thing is you have to create a grid it, it can be of any size so automatic grid maker so now over here what you need to do is enter each word or phrase on a separate line for example i am uh, talking about the capitals of the various states of india so i can start with uh, the various capitals for example new delhi okay or in short i can say delhi each clue on each new line okay next could be mumbai next could be chandigarh so you can keep on adding various other options for example next can be panji okay so you can keep on adding options for example rachi let's uh, assume that i am having only five of these clues click on make a grid and you can see a grid automatically generates now you need to add some clues also otherwise the students won't be able to answer these questions so click on add clues when you go to chandigarh chandigarh is the capital of actually it's capital of both haryana as well as punjab so you can write any of any of it capital of punjab okay similarly delhi capital of delhi only 
wrong uh, choice of clue in fact okay so next uh, next is mumbai capital of maharashtra in the same way i guess capital of jharkhand and last is capital of goa not sure but i guess it's punji only okay so click on it so once you are done with it what you can do is you can create either a web page for example give it any name paste it anywhere for example demo give it any name view the exercise in your browser this is how it looks like it is asking me for my name okay so let me type my name and this is how the output looks like so when you click on this number 1 it will give you the clue capital of maharashtra you need to type in mumbai over there when you press enter it will automatically take the space so this is how interactively you can create crosswords you can send this particular html file to your students or if you are having your own website you can post it on your website and take a quiz from the students take a test from the students this is what i used to do i create my own tests put it on my website and then conduct the tests online it helps me to identify the students who are actively taking part in the various online lectures i am posting during this lockdown period okay so this was the third tool let's focus on the fourth one it's a very professional kind of a tool which is called as prezi normally uh, it is not free but uh it's having its free version also which provides some very basic limited options so you can try it out and uh, i will show you how to create an account just go to prezi just click on this get started it will ask you for a subscription you can click on this basic tab go to this free it will give you just the basic options where you can create uh, content which will be available online you won't be able to save it offline but you have to work online for now uh, using this particular basic free option so click on it and then it will ask you for various options i just uh, logged in with my google account you can do the same okay so once you log in with your google account it will give you an interface where you can create a live presentation for example you can create from scratch or you can use an existing template which prezi provides so click on this create from template it will load up a series of templates which prezi has in its repository you can see there are very attractive and colorful templates present over here so let's select this one okay so if you want to use this template prezi provides you two options either this one that is it will be available to anyone on the web this one comes for free or you can select this but this is obviously not free this is charged 3 dollars per month so i would select this anyone on the web option i would give it some name for example demo 1 click on it a new page will open up where i can create my own presentation and i can i can then share it with my students so once it opens up it's all all taking place on the uh, prezi cloud so it may take some time depending on the internet speed so this is how it looks like on the left hand side you can see there are the various slides you may ask that we are just starting so why are so many slides present over here i will just show you why there are so many slides you you just have a look how it looks like you just have a feel how it looks like uh on the right hand side you can see that there are various other images which you can use these are all free images which you can use for your presentation i will uh, just stick to this basic template to give a presentation for example over here if i show you the presentation then the things will be very clear what exactly it is so click on this present tab it will open up for example for example this road ahead is your title of presentation of your ppt click on this on this topic one once you click on this you you will see that how interactively it opens up a new page it is nothing but a new slide but opens up similarly like a video so when uh, when you click on the sub topic one it will again open up a new slide you can put up your contents over here you can have text you can have images you can go back by simply scrolling up similarly you can have pictures over here you can click on it to zoom you can then again zoom out click on the next picture and trust me the students will really love these sort of uh, presentations and it is very much interactive and 
keep the students engaged to your presentation similarly you can have a second topic it's blank over here you can have your content similar to the topic one and this is how Prezi works so let's see how to share it with your students you can give it a various uh, you, you can give it various other styling but for the time being i'm sticking to this particular template you can share it with your students you can create this uh, you can click on this view link create a new link for example my link and click on create link it will create a link which you can then copy and share it with your students so the students will be able to see what you are presenting in a very interactive way and as i had told earlier the students will simply love these sort of presentations so that's it uh, we have already seen four tools first starting up with edpuzzle where you can have interactive quizzes while the video is playing then we saw ted ed where you can have even discussion forums where the students can discuss among themselves what exactly is the video all about then we saw hot potatoes where you can create n number of quizzes crosswords match the following fill in the blanks and jumbled up sentences so that the students will in, will be able to interactively answer the questions on the go and finally we saw a presentation tool prezi using which you can create interactive ppts to share with your students well, to sum up, this video is not only focused on teachers for creating interactive videos and presentations. This video will also be helpful to the students who are working for the presentations and project PPTs. And also this will be helpful to the various people working in industries for creating their professional presentations. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, kindly give a thumbs up in the form of a like. Do subscribe to my channel. Press the bell icon to keep in touch with all the further upcoming updates on various technical topics. Thank you so much.